So, understanding the 3D CAD capabilities in Katia V5. To better showcase this, I have prepared multiple type of parts. So the first one will be part design. And as you know, part design, if you're going to do a cut, we're going to have the material fill on the inside, just like within a section. So let's get started with that. I'm going to enable the 3D cut over here. For the selection, I will select the part design over here, which is just a shape that has been extruded. And if I will hit preview like this, we're going to see that the 3D cutout in this case will be the top section over here from this from this cube. Now we have the possibility to to change the cut location. As we can see over here, I can make this larger on this axis. I can increase it over here. And now the 3D cut will look like this. If I will also expand this section, we're now going to have the top end of this. Some other changes that we can do within the definition, we can go over here. And the cutting type, by default, this is set to cut the outer parts of the product. But we can also do cut the inner parts of the product. So we can swap that. We're going to see that those arrows will be now changed. If I will now hit preview, within this newly defined cut, I'm going to obtain everything that isn't selected by the, by the bounding box over here. As we can see, I will have a small surface over here. If I will just expand the cutting element over here, I will no longer have that problem. And again, if I will go somewhere like this, we're going to have the cut look like that. Usually the cutting type is set um, to cut the outer parts of the product because usually it's a little bit better. You want to know exactly what you want to trim out and you're going to integrate that within the cutting volume. But keep in mind that you can also swap those. Now, regarding the border, let's see. We're going to see that this cut will look like this. I will just slightly move it back. So for the border cut, we can also go with keep completely or partially included triangles. We're going to see if I will choose this for part design. The final cutout will look like this. And this is because the 3D model is a NURBS model. If I'm going to check the wireframe of the model, it will look like this. But what actually happened is that we're going to have a triangle converted over here from this vertex over here and back back here and that will give us this resulting surface since the 3d cut is done using a, using a truncated polygonal mesh so that's that's quite important and you need to know to define the borders usually if you work with part design you're gonna keep it with a cut the triangle and that uh, will just do the cutting over there directly so we see the overlap over here from that top vertex all the way over here, we're going to have the same intersection over here. We also have the possibility to use the last option, which will keep completely included triangles only. In this case, if I will hit a preview, we're going to see that the shape will also be modified. Since I have the line over here, we're just going to have that triangle. So this top vertex up to this one will define this triangle all the way over here to the cut and we only gonna keep that part of the of the 3d model and um yeah as i said previously on border is the best option in this case especially if you are working um, with part design elements and we can also do the volume cut which will give us the preview over here within uh, in the viewport now notice that if i will swap this over here the volume cut nothing happens but this is because I change this to be within wireframe. And if I will go back to normal shading, we're going to have that preview done over here directly within the viewport, which is quite, quite convenient. As we can see, this border will not be processed over here within the viewport. We're just going to see the volume cut. Okay, so this was the first type, which was the part design. We're going to go forward for the open surface. For the selection 
over here for the product i will also select the open surface i will make that visible so we have the port design i noticed that this 3d cut doesn't allow me to right click and do a clear selection over here on the three dots i cannot remove or add any product so just to make this simple i will just re-enable the 3d cut in this case so this was the part design now we're going to take a look at the open surface as you can see over here i took the same um, sketch and this has been extruded and if i will do an open cut for this one so a 3d cut you're going to see that by default the bounding box will be positioned like this and it will integrate everything so i'm just going to move this slightly over here if i'm going to hit preview we're going to see how that surface will look so as you can see in this case the 3d cut since um, this is perfectly overlap on the bottom that will not give us the bottom surface over here if you want to you can always move that so i'm going to position the mouse and slightly overlap that and afterwards i have lost my selection so i'm just going to make it again we see the number of triangles that the 3d cut will compute will be listed over here in this case 168 if i will hit preview now we're also going to have that bottom section again we have the same um, utility over here so I can select this to give me all the elements that are not within the bounding box. As you can see, there will be some uh, floating elements over here. This is, again, because the overlap of this is not exactly perfect to that. So there will be some small triangles defined over there. You can just slightly increase the size of that. Hit preview again, and that should clear those. As you can see, we still have a dot over there. But that dot is because we see how the that will be positioned. So we just need to make sure that this will be expanded over there. Okay, Quite weird that we still have that, that one dot over there. But again, the usual cutting type for this is um, like this. This was the um, open surface. We're now going to go to the following one, which will be a closed surface. So this is why I decided to add multiple types of files within Katia, because we have solid surface, imaginary shape. We have meshes, and we're also going to have retopology mesh, meshes. And we're going to see how those will, uh, will differ within the 3D cut. Now, for the closed surface, the functionality will be the same. The main difference is that uh, we're going to have the surface over here closed. We see the number of triangles in this case only for this selection will be 3 to 8. Since we're going to have a little bit more geometry on the sides where we have the mesh closed. So I'm just going to slightly increase this. I'm going to hit preview. And we're going to see how that section will look over here within preview. If you haven't checked my previous video, over there I discuss the file formats. So over here on save, we're going to see that we have multiple file formats. So CGR and model, these are the salt uh, file formats. And we also have standardized file format, which are WRL and STL that can be processed by other, other solutions as well without any conversions. We see the um, number of triangles, so the initial for everything, and the result in this case will be 44. We have over here the preview. If I will swap over here the visualization, this will be only for the main view, so not for the for the preview window over here. Okay, so this was the closed surface. Now I'm going to enable the imaginary shapes so over here. I made a shape quite similar with that with the previous one so i didn't use the exact same sketch but this will be an imagined shape and this will act just like a closed surface if you're gonna do a 3d cut for the imagination and um, shape box over here i will um, slightly make this a little bit taller 
again if I will hit preview we're gonna have that cut as we can see the number of triangles is a lot higher for uh, elements that are created within um, imagine and shape even though if I will go over here within wireframe we're gonna see that this geometry is not that complex to the previous one so within nerves we had the outer profile over here I also added three loop cuts but we see how far that uh, triangle count increase because when Katia does this 3D cutting it will actually divide the mesh and this will be a truncated polygonal mesh that will be defined by triangles and to better understand this triangle feature I will now present the mesh so this will be the mesh this is the Katia file so how I obtained this was like this I opened this part which was modeled in uh, part design and I saved that as an STL directly from Katia with file save as if you have the part open not the assembly you're just gonna save that STL for that part and that's how I obtained this mesh and we're gonna see how different this will be from the part design if I will go over here within wireframe we're gonna see that Katia will save STL files uh, within triangle file format and as we can see this will be the distribution since we have some rounded elements over here all those will need to be linked to to an edge so in this case over here we're only gonna have one face for all that section but where we're gonna have some uh, rounded elements we're gonna need to have a higher amount of, uh, of triangles now if I will do a 3d cut for this I will select it go to the 3d cut tool I'm just gonna slightly change this so from the back I want this to be narrower we see the initial triangle count 332 if I will hit preview this will be the output and if I will also change this like this so keep in mind that over here we're only going to have two triangles we see this is one face we have one two three and four vertices and this will be divided diagonally with um, with that so we're actually going to have two triangles if i will hit preview like this we're going to see that the cut we're going to have all of those both um, triangles selected but over here if i want to go for Keep completely or partially included triangles and hit preview. We're gonna see that the mesh will look like this, and with the last option, it will look like this. So we're only gonna have the sides over here. But if I will also increase this so that this will only intersect the top triangle from this face, if I will hit preview, currently we see that none will be selected within the second version we're gonna have only that front triangle because that's uh, overlapped over there and with the first cutting mode it will be like this so keep in mind that 3d cut is sensitive to the mesh topology and this is why for the last option over here i have the same uh, mesh but this has been retopologized if i will check the mesh for this we're gonna see that this will be evenly divided so we see how that geometry will be defined for this topology model and if i will do a 3d cut for this we're gonna see that the number of triangles for this is quite higher so we have um, over 4000 triangles in this case and again if i will change the shape of the 3d cut something like this hit preview we're gonna have that fine cut with the border um, option over here if i will go for keep complete or partial triangles if i will hit preview it will look like this and with the last option we're gonna see the cut will look like this so as you can see the cut will always be over here straight because we also have those topology lines defined like that if I'm gonna move it over here because we're gonna see that those lines will be different 
I'm just gonna go over here from the sides and I will move that cutting box. I will include it something like this. So we see over here that triangle. If I will hit preview, now that cut will no longer be straight over here. As we can see with this option, it will look like that. If I'm gonna go to keep complete or partial included triangles, now the mesh will look like this. So we have some added triangles over here. And with the first one, which will cut the triangle, this will give us that uh, straight line. And we're also gonna see that the resulting mesh will have a different color. So this will be uh, with this white color. While the other will maintain the STL default color, which is brown in Katia. Okay, so I hope you better understand how Katia 3D cutting works, especially what is um, the truncated polygonal meshes. Because usually CAD softwares, they don't use triangles, and that's the main difference between this and um, other solutions, which are mainly polygonal modeling softwares, such as Blender or 3ds Max. 3ds Max also has a possibility to work similar with CAD solution with NURBS, but it's a little bit uh, different and in a different, let's say, uh, modeling environment. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. Let me know in the comment section if you try to use a 3D cut, because this is really good if you want to visualize something. And also keep in mind that, as you saw, this will also keep the color attributes uh, for faces. Therefore, um, that can be further used for um, a lot of visualization elements within Katia V5. Okay, so I will position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.